These are three pretty fatty cows. We should definitely go hunting. The cows were peacefully grazing. And the hungry wild spotted them. They immediately ran and attacked the cows. The three animals are running behind the three fatty cows now. They ran through lands. This isn't helping, so the cow made the tree fall upon the line. But the chase began again. Meanwhile, the cow that was getting chased by the tiger went and hid inside the pond, confused and well. Another cow pulled the same idea as the previous cow, hiding in the water. All the three of them decided to hide inside the water. Let's wait until they get out of their hiding spot. Meanwhile, the cow who got out of water had her color changed. As usual, she began grazing in the wild spot. What? The lion immediately attacked, but he ended up getting yeeted by a field. What? Perhaps the cow gained superpowers. Oh, no! The tiger went for an attack this time, and he himself got attacked. <gasps> the other lion ran away in fear. Meanwhile, another fatty cow reappeared as a gigantic cell. Ah. Let's see if we can attack other two cows. But as the cow reappeared, what? it hadn't even properly noticed the lion and tiger. And yet they ran away. She began chasing the lion. She jumped on him and the lion went to grave. Rip. Now we got another cow who's got a fiery breath. She can travel in millisecond. Time for another lion to get hurt. <laughs> he definitely got wounded. Lesson finally <laughs> come. Now they're gonna go off duty to home. The lion is teaching his kids how to chase the prey. After all, that is their duty. Soon the lion and his cubs went on their own way. And the farm animals to some other. They suddenly happened to see a lion cub. Oh no! The pig quickly helped him to get out. How did you get there? I'm lost from my dad and brothers. Let's all go and play hide and seek. You 
you all go and hide. I'll be counting. The game begins and everyone is easily caught. I just had a perfect hiding spot. It began raining and I couldn't get out of these rocks. Meanwhile, all of them went home, leaving me here. Oh no! And that's why I'm still here. The farm animals decided to help the cub go home. But it seems like we have some serious bullies coming up. farm animals had to run, escaping the trio of wild animals. The pig offered his back to the cub as they sped fast. We got crocodiles and it seemed like there was no way to escape. Are they destined to die in the hands of the wild? Or they could just run upon the crocodiles and get to the other side. The ladder they chose. The cheetah successfully crossed, but his pals were being chased. The piggy took his chance and yeeted the cheetah into the water. <laughs> Off the team goes to rescue the cub to his father. Thank you so much for helping me. Without understanding the context, the lion dad ran behind the farm animals. The son had to get in the way. Dad, if it wasn't them, I would never be alive. Thank you so much for rescuing my kid. Hey guys! Welcome back to our jungle land. It's a warm summer day. There is so much fun. And a little bit of chaos in the jungle. Let's see what is our jungle caretaker doing. Looks like Mr. Gorilla and Foxy are selling some delicious mangoes. Mangoes and mangoes. Fresh and delicious mangoes. Mangoes and mangoes. Fresh and delicious mangoes. Get some juicy, juicy mangoes. Come on. The sheep, Piggy and Monkey are off to Foxy to buy some mangoes. Give me the best quality mangoes. Better than you give to Piggy. I want the best. Better than the ones you give to the monkey. <laughs> me too. Better than you give this both. I have the same quality and taste for all of you. A box for each. <laughs> the cow. Calf. And the rabbit are off at the gorillas to buy some mangoes. A box of mangoes for me and my baby here. <coughs> for me too. Here you go.
both Gorilla and the Foxy are tired and off for a nap. Foxy dreams of delicious and giant mangoes. Mangoes? Huh? Oh no! It was just a dream! But I wish I could get such a huge mangoes! Idea! I'll pump in some eggs in these mangoes and sell them! They will look big and all will come and buy my mangoes instead of gorillas! <laughs> Giant mangoes! Come on one and all! Get some! Oh my god! Such huge mangoes! Oh! <laughs> Two in my trucks please! Right away! to eat mangoes. Oh! It's all air in these mangoes. Foxy cheated me. I'll go get him. Hey you Foxy! You cheat! You sold me air filled mangoes and deceived me for a giant one. How dare you? What? Oh yes, see it all for yourself. What? No! You cheat, you Foxy. Oh no! Foxy ran away in fear. Oh yeah. And all the animals went to Mr. Gorilla. Hold on, hold on. I've got you for all. Welcome to our jungle once again. Beauty and chaos in a perfect blend. The greenery and chaos of this place. Which you cannot find in anywhere. The magical sound of bird which you hear. Hello and welcome. Let's go and get my cattle for a stroll out in the plains for a fresh graze of grass and some quiet rest yeah. for me. I have some cows, sheep and goats in my cattle. Let's get going. I'll rest here for a while. While Mr. Gorilla was asleep, a sheep wandered away. And there he was the clever foxy waiting for his time to ponder on the sheep. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> huh? What's wrong? You foxy? Again? One punch from Mr. Gorilla gave foxy a good hit. Don't ever come near my cattle again. Foxy in pain ran away and hid himself in a cave and began to come up with a better plan to get his hands on the cattle. Idea! I'll build a camouflage cow just like the Trojan horse and enter the cattle and get my hands on them. Woohoo! Here I go! 
to blend in the crowd. <laughs> what? <laughs> An extra cow? Where did this come from? All right. Come on all. Let's go. It's time to get back home. Along with the cattle Foxy and his Trojan cow oh, went in. Oh yeah. And slowly came out when Mr. Gorilla was not around. <coughs> Grabbed a sheep and feasted on it. My sheep! <laughs> As was the routine, Gorilla took his cattle out in the plains for grazing and along went Foxy and his Trojan cow. While Gorilla had no idea of what was going on. And this time Foxy feasted on a goat. Oh no! My god! Something is not right. I better keep awake and hide and watch what's happening with my cattle. And there he caught Foxy feasting onto his cattle <coughs> and decides to punch him right away. And there he was, getting kicked by Mr. Gorilla. Monsieur La Lion is very dehydrated. Just like the teeny weeny baby cow. The two variants of the animal kingdom encountered each other. What? And clearly the lion began chasing the baby cow. He couldn't chase more due to dehydration. the lion and baby cow next to the pond. <gasps> what? To their ill luck, four buffaloes emerged out of the sun and drank the pool of waters and went away. Small puddle was left and the lion and baby cow picked up the cat to fight to have the waters for one second. <laughs> Here's another greedy buffalo. From a great distance, both of them saw a river flowing. Is it hallucination? Maybe it's just the elephants this time. A load of elephants. The lion. Elephant. 
who even yeeted the lion for sticking to its trunk. The lion ended up next to a warehouse and saw a droplet of water fall. <gasps> the next droplet of water ought to be wasted felt the lion, and the baby fell, having no water left in the bottle too. What? Both the lion and cow walked. They came across a bucket of water. Both the lion and cow wobbled their heads in getting sick. <laughs> After a great hustle, they fell onto a water pump. A reward or maybe not. The cow and her babies are happily grazing. Meanwhile, the farmer is ready to start his day by adding a solution to his tomato farm. He adds the solution onto a tomato, but it isn't a good one, so he throws it. But its size increased. The calf was captivated by the tomato and ate one too, and he rapidly began growing in size. The mother and his what? siblings ran away in terror. Mother cow is hiding under a tractor. Seeing the giant calf, she's literally shaking. Mr. Gorilla is all set to begin his day. When the first thing he saw is a giant cow torturing its mother. He threw the tractor away and kicked his mom. He sees the gorilla, and now he's going to give him a hard time. The farmer is returning to his place, and after a while he spots that the calf has grown so much in size. Oh no! It must have happened due to the tomato. This brat must have eaten it. Indeed, a bad solution. But I must do something really quick. Let's quickly prepare a solution. The farmer got the solution ready and ran to the spot. The farmer added a few drops onto another tomato and began calling the calf. Look out! Look out! He threw that onto the calf and he ate it and returned to its original size. The farmer immediately runs to check if the gorilla is all right. Thanks for saving my life! Oh, don't bother, buddy. The cow is very fond of strawberries. Or maybe just mixing it. The owner came back home and found a bill. None other than the electricity bill. He 
got in only to find his beloved calf oh, no! increasing his expenses by mixing the strawberries since ages. He quickly turned the main off. But survival what? without electricity is quite tough. Just then his attention goes towards the frame on his bed. Now he knows the plan. The owner is now going to build a windmill. The owner building everything from scratch. He is focused on mechanics and physics. Finally, after a long hustle, the windmill is ready. Oh yeah! He switched on the main so that his only calf baby could grind the strawberries. Meanwhile, the farm animals do not really seem to be fond of the creeks and noises from the windmill. The rabbit must be having an idea. He began pouring grease to fix it and it definitely did fix. But the rabbit slipped on its feet. Before it fell and broke its bone, she held one of the windmill's arms and began rotating. He felt joy by the rotation. The pig went forward to experience this, and he understood the rabbit. The sheep was eager and joined them too. While the owner was enjoying his free electricity, the animals formed a line and were waiting for their chances to take the windmill. The owner had no clue of what's happening outside. The pig took his chance too and finally the bison will take the windmill. But soon the animal's faces fell. The windmill was too slow until it finally stopped while the bison was held at the peak. What? The owner's surroundings began to shrill. A high voltage of energy began to pass into the house as the windmill began rotating very rapidly. All the animals vanished or probably fled away due to the wind. Before a black hole could be summoned the owner got out to stop the event. He was certainly successful in preventing a disaster. In a jungle sanctuary there exists a den where the mighty lion family took shelter in. The cub is making sure the lion and lionesses are asleep. Confirming that they're asleep, he left the den. He then began jumping one after another. To her ill luck, her final jump was upon a hippopotamus. What? Ah! Oh no! Ah! The zebras were grazing in the jungle. Foxy and Wolfie were behind bushes and were observing the zebras to attack them. Here's our new target. What? <gasps> oh no!
The foxes and the wolf were triggered and decided to interrupt and protect the little cub. Hippopotamus began the chase again. Meanwhile, the father lion woke up and felt his son wasn't there. <gasps> the roads are empty. Guys, have you spotted my son anywhere? A hippopotamus was chasing your son. What? The cub bravely ran until he reached oh, the no. end of the way and he couldn't escape. Hippopotamus ran into the rock and malfunctioned. Finally, the dad and the mischievous son were walking home. 